Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo to a Hellfire Peaks on the Hell side. It's been kind of a bit of hell lately, but it's not that bad. Okay, so I did some work off screen. I immediately, I automatically, well, okay, so yeah, off screen, I, I separate Banjo Kazooie and I got Kazooie all the way back to the volcano, so that'll make things a little easier for this episode. But, anyways, I wanted to. Um, get across here as Kazooie because it's actually a lot easier to do so as Kazooie. I don't know if it's possible as Banjo or Kazooie and Kazooie separately or together, and you have to do it this way. But yeah, we're going to finally get across here as Kazooie alone and get the third and last of the extra honeycomb pieces in Hailfire Peak. So those are already done, which is awesome. Okay, so with those out of the way, we are now finally inside the entrance that I wanted the whole time. Okay, so we're going to destroy these icicles here. And we are now inside the Icicle Grotto. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually where uh, Kazooie's uh, move is located. I think it's right over here. I hope it is. Please let me be right. That's over here somewhere. Yes, it is. Oh my god, it's right here. Yes. Thank you so much, game. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Now you're lifting. No big fat bear. Easy it'll be to glide through the air. Jump up high, then hold Z. Don't need fly pads or feathers red. That'll be all. Dismissed. Okay. You have one more chance to hit your head. Please do it next time. Oh, he's not going to. Okay, so this is the glide move. Kazooie now has the ability to jump up. Okay, so in addition to uh, Kazooie's high jump, you can also glide after doing so by holding the Z button. And Kazooie will glide and, and will not cost any red feathers at all as a... As, uh, as Jam Jars mentioned, which is pretty awesome. So we're gonna be actually taking, getting use of it in the Icicle Grotto here. So, it's very important that you get used to that move because you can easily die in here if you're not careful and you don't use it correctly. So let's, uh, let's just practice it right here, actually. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you have to kinda, like, sometimes I have trouble getting it to actually do it for some reason when doing the high jump. So what I do is I just tap the Z button you know, at the height of Kazooie's jump, and then eventually I'll get it. There you go. That's how you do it. And you hold a Z button. As long as you're holding it, Kazooie will continually glide until he, until she reaches, uh, you know, reaches the floor. So, yeah. But more importantly, over there we have the treble cleft. So we're gonna get that first. Okay. Do not screw up, screw us up, man. Don't die in this room. Seriously. Here we go. Alright, yeah, glide move is actually pretty easy to use once you get it down, right? Okay, there we go. There's a treble clef that leaves just 40 more notes. Okay. Now, just need to get to... Oops. Ah, okay, here we go. Alright, I guess I could have gone a lot worse, but we still need to get that Jinjo, that black Jinjo. So... Uh, can I? Uh, how about clockwork eggs? You know what? Actually, I'm gonna have to die anyways because that's the only way to. Or you can just do that because you know, screw the Wait, clockwork eggs, right? Before I die, let's activate this warp pad just because we know, because it could take us to the very entrance of the world, and I don't want that to, you know. S but yeah, yeah. Just die. You know, clockwork eggs are very useful. I think no, we could it easily have used them there and not die. You know, warp back here easily. I'm just saying you could save a lot of time by using those clockwork oh, eggs instead. Okay, that's fine. So it just takes us right back to the split pads, which is just as fine. Icy side inside the icy gr icicle grotto. Okay, let's try again this black chin. Oh shoot, that's right! Oh man! Oh. Just gonna. Oh. Did you know you have clockwork eggs? Maybe on the other side, up there. Well, can I get back up th this way? Shoot, 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 shoot. Maybe I can still get this. Maybe I can. Okay, maybe I still have this. Maybe. I don't know, though. I really don't know. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. We don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. We don't have to stand for this crap, man. Okay, it's not crap. It's not the game's fault. I, I, I easily could have gone if I had remembered to... Kazooie, would you please guide? Kazooie, glide! Glide! Thank you. Jeez. 
Yeah, sometimes it's very annoying trying to get to work. But anyways, you know what? I could have saved myself a lot of headaches by simply doing this. Clockwork eggs! Remember you have them. There we go. And that completes the Black Jinjo family and gets a 64 Jiggies. Perfect. Just what I wanted my 64 Jiggy to be, the Black Jinjo family completed. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, be careful, it's gonna get really slippery from here. Ooh, actually, I do want that. I want those eggs. I want them! Oh, and that shock jump pad, I'll take that too, okay. Okay. So let's see if we can... No, uh, that's a Minjo, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It was black, I should have known him immediately that's a Minjo. What was I thinking? Okay. Okay, for careful, it's still very slippery down here. Now, inside here is a Cheeto page that is, uh... To tell you the truth, I still don't to this very day know exactly how to get to it, basically. There's like an entrance you're supposed to access only with the, um... The whatchamacallit, it's the clip clockwork eggs. And I think it's... is it up here? No, that's not it. Wow, probably wasn't the best idea to explode that right next to Zooey there, jeez. But I thought... Oh wait, maybe it's on the other side. Let's see. Uh... I thought it was over here. Also, these enemies in here are extremely annoying because first of all, they, they spawn real fast and they attack you while you're trying to use the click walk. The clockwork egg, so you get to that Cheeto page, so... Just have to fare with them while doing this at the same time. Yeah, they're very annoying. Aye! Shoot! I know I'm going the right way, though. I know I'm going the right way. I am going the right way. Okay, here we go. Let's go through this entrance. And this should take you to, the, to that Cheeto page. If I'm not mistaken. Well, it should. I mean, like, where else would that tiny entrance lead to? There you go, Cheeto page. One more, and we can get our next cheat. Oh my god. Why is it every single time I take a I take a soda drink break, I have to deal with that crap? No enemies coming up on me while I'm trying to take a break. Okay, so here we are. This is the main part of the ice side. And the main enemies over here are these yetis. And I love the sounds they make whenever you kill them. Watch. Oh! I don't know why, but for some reason I just I just find that noise to be very funny. Just oh It's almost it's almost well yeah, not quite like that Homer Simpson do sound. It's not it's not quite as funny, but still it's pretty funny. Just kinda sucks that it takes like two hits to kill those guys. Or three hits actually for Jig for Kazooie. Okay, now, as you can see over there, there are some, uh... Come on, kill him! Just kill him already! Jeez. Okay, so over here we got some more notes. And also, Shelly Willy! Shelly Willy, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? This is not the way you get your pizza, man. Is this what you, is this what you do to all your pizza delivery guys? You just shoot ice balls at them until they give you your pizza? That's terrible, man. That's terrible. That is not how you treat pizza delivery people. I swear. Okay, so we got more notes up here, and uh, there is a. Okay, so this, this uh, I this. What we're trying to say igloo. This igloo. Don't go inside here quite yet. You're gonna want to have both Banjo and Kazooie when you go in there. Anyways, talk to this Ice Cube right here. Hey, young man. I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George. Where was this terrible- there was this terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky. So? Isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for him. Oh, okay. Alright, fair enough. Um, but you do have a G uh, Jinjo inside of you, so I can't- I can't, uh, let you have that, so sorry, Mildred, but... <laughs> Arr, tell George his dinner is in the... Oh, man. Just a bit of dark humor there. Good old rareware dark humor. Okay, so anyways, over here, there's actually a mumbo pad that you want to destroy later. It's gonna make 
this. Oh, whoa, 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 oh god, okay. How did I not fall there? I have no idea, but what I do know is that we're going to head back, and I think we're going to like, want to get Banjo over here, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, actually, because I think the next thing I'm going to want to do is actually, is actually get rid of Chili Willy, so we, we can explore the uh, ice, you know, the ice slide without having to worry about that crap. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go to the split pad, and then we're gonna switch to Banjo so that he can make his way over here and meet Kazooie. Thankfully, Kazooie will be safe from Chili Willy's attacks inside there, which is always good. Okay, so as Banjo, well, actually, yeah, right there, pretty much. Let's take us to the ice side upper area. I can't say I know where that last war pad is. I think it's inside the Coliseum, if I'm not mistaken. Just a hunch, though. Okay, let's get Kazooie and Banjo back together. So now that we're on the ice side here, maybe we can start making uh, some more progress. So starting over here, I saw some notes I want to get. Get them out of the way. And actually, there is a Jinjo here in the ice side. It's kind of difficult to get if you don't know how to do it. Um, but I'll be showing him, showing that Jinjo real soon. Because it could be a, it could be a girl. It could be a girl. I don't know. I just have no idea. Oh crap! There we go. Okay, so just two more sets of notes, and we'll be all good on the notes for this world. Oh, thank you, Chili Willy. Thank you for the boost. Not that matters in the long run because we got this. Uh... Ooh. Huh. We have. This cracked uh, pipe here that she can, you can actually go inside his banjo alone. So actually, I'm gonna do that first. And I will say I know exactly where it goes to, so it'll be a kind of a, a little bit of a minor throwback, I should say, for those of you who have watched the last several episodes, let's just say. So we're going to. Oh, there we go. It's a lot easier to kill those guys with that move. Let's get banjo and Kazooie separate again. I'm sure they're probably sick of it by now, but too bad. So sad. Because we need his banjo to his uh, little new move that he just learned in the last episode. Oh crap. Thank you for the boost again. Okay. So we use our move and we're gonna get inside here. Guess where this takes you to? Yep. Music probably sounds familiar. This is once again inside. Uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. You you don't actually have to. You're not supposed to go in here quite yet because there's actually something that's gonna be in here later on after you take care of some business. So yeah, but yeah, that's inside Grunty Industries in the waste disposal unit. So, yep. Now you know that. For some reason, I thought there would be something in there, but no. Not true. So our next order of business is well, I will go after Chili Willy, but we're, we've only got one minute left this episode, so instead I'm going to just uh, do a bit more explore. Well, actually, I want to find that. It'd be really cool is if I could find that last set of notes first of all, and maybe that Jinjo too I was, I was talking about earlier. Um, but actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to uh, Kazooie because I think this is actually how you want to do. So you want to do is Kazooie. So. So get Kazooie over here, and that is the Jinjo right there. Looks simple to get to, right? And yes, that is a Jinjo, not Minjo, but watch. Yeah, if you try to get close to that Jinjo, you're gonna get blown away by ice. So here's how you deal with that. Well, first of all, I'll avoid these attacks by Chili Willy and these annoying cavemen. Or is Yeti's, I should say. Adorable snowmen. Okay, so get your clockwork egg. And that's how you'll get to it, I think. Oh no, okay, okay, apparently that's not the way to do it. Never mind. Never mind. At least we gotta get, get rid of that guy. Although I think if you actually, if you... Maybe if you landed on the... Oh yeah, that works too, okay. What's in here anyways? Oh, just dead end, okay, never mind. So it works. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, but like I said before, the clockwork eggs are very, very, very broken, so... Make it that what you will. Okay, now... 
his last two notes, last two sets of notes, they shouldn't be too far away from here, actually. They should be very close, come to think of it. Now, okay, actually, I think, uh, yeah, this guy right, this guy right here, this guy's hilarious. He has a giant toe, and you can actually talk to him. Oh. Packs quite a wallop, doesn't it? I'm real proud of my enormous foot. Yeah, see, get it, Bigfoot. So what you do is you have to wait for Chili Willy to shoot his ice ice balls. Or yeah, pretty much what they are. Those, those are ice balls, literally. Now, why he bites his foot and licks and eat, tries to eat it, I have no idea. But what I do know is that if we wait here long enough, uh, Chili Willy will take care of him for us. Hello. Come on. Chili Willy, come on. Waiting for you to shoot your your ball of ice. You were just you were just yelling at me earlier. Hello. Chili Willy. Okay, I thought he was gonna shoot his his ice balls ass, but apparently not. Oh, well now he is. What? Okay, I don't get what's going on here. Why is he? Okay. Do I have to be Banjo and Kazooie together in order to make that work? I don't know. But yeah, he's, yeah, those, uh, oh, jeez. Okay, big risk here by running around with only one, one unit of HP. Okay, well, I guess we'll figure that out next time here on Banjo-Tooie. So see you guys next time for some more Banjo-Tooie Hellfire, Hellfire Peak stuff, okay? See you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.